Hello and welcome back to more Crusader Kings 2 Historical Immersion Project here in Denmark. Though hopefully not just to Denmark for much longer because we are uh, tantalizingly close to being able to form the Empire of Nordmania. We're at... Uh, oh, we are at 75% actually. When did that happen? Last I checked we were just at 73. Well, um, I'm not going to complain. That's a nice surprise. So, to do that, you first have to uh, just get the Kingdom of Norway, which I believe we can just create at any moment. Kingdom of Norway. Yeah. This costs us 228 gold and 200 piety, so we should have enough left to form the Empire after we do this. Okay. We are now the King of Norway. And for 12, uh, which gives us 1200 prestige, costs us 804 gold and 400 piety, putting us pretty low on piety, but that's not a big deal. And we are now the Empire of Nordmania, or, or, or Nordriki, as I will assume it's pronounced, though I'm probably wrong. And now we're a nice dark blue color, which to my eyes is much more attractive than our previous fleshy pink color. Right, so that's great. That probably gives us some more uh, du jour conquest CBs on these people over here. Uh, that would just be county by county though, so it's not exactly optimal. I think we'll be better doing holy wars in between cooldowns. At least in order to clean up the last of our du jour territory, which I do want to get. I mean, at least expand to here. Um, after that, I'm not sure what the future of this series is. I don't really want to go on a huge map painting spree and get all of Europe under my control because things get a bit, a bit boring, I think, in that kind of playstyle. But I do want to at least have a few good fights against the Carlings, if nothing else. Maybe. Maybe what we'll do is conquer some of these Carling kingdoms and set them up as, you know, independent Norse kingdoms. So that when we can eventually call a great holy war, there'll be other people to join with us. Maybe even do that with members of our dynasty so we can uh, spread our own name across the map like the Carlings have. Anyway, that's for the future. For now, let's unpause and see what we're doing here. Um, oh, my family is still in hiding. Let's uh, let's pull them out of hiding. Um, prisoners, do we have any high-value prisoners? We have a Kent, who is a kinsman of mine. Oh, are you the former Jarl of over here that we took your title, I think? Yeah, okay. I think you can stay in prison. Oh, I love this empire icon as well with the, I don't know, dragons, I guess. Very cool. And of course we have our purple character border, which is very important. Um, right, also, um, another thing we could probably do, I haven't looked at it in a while, is get some more revenues. Uh, we can get a few more. I think some more skirmish retinue at this point. Just the one, okay. We'll park the one in there. Uh, being an emperor has also given us one extra domain limit, which is nice. If we're going to keep these two duchies, we'll, we are going to want to eventually revoke these, probably, and keep those. And we can do more upgrading. Uh, sure. Get more heavy infantry. Seems good. And the Jarl of Selen died under suspicious circumstances. Hmm. Um, let's also 
Oh, vassal inheritance warning. Let's also go on a grand hunt. Why not? It's kind of pointless and dangerous, but you know, most fun things in life are pointless and dangerous. We have weak claims that can be pressed. Hmm. Oh, somebody was sacrificed to the pagan gods. Interesting. So we'll wait for this hunt, and then maybe we'll do a holy war over here. Which is going to be a whole annoying ordeal because of all this uh, arctic land over here that is going to cause us terrible attrition all the time. Arctic, arctic. Uh, this guy... Uh, former king of Svithyad, I believe, is now known as the Accursed. Okay. Well, we did steal his kingdom. I can see why he would be... He would maybe consider himself unlucky. Maybe my wife is pregnant again. Actually, um, that reminds me. Now that we have the succession all sorted out and we're primogeniture and everything, there's pretty much no disadvantage to taking a bunch of concubines and having as many children as we possibly can. So, let's first of all check out who is in our dungeon that might be a good concubine. 29, 51, 39, 44, 41, yeah, there's a 25 year old. Sure, we'll take you as a concubine. And we certainly don't want to take him as a concubine. Let's um, find any other eligible concubines in our realm. Uh, don't think it matters if they're in prison. Not married, not a ruler. Really mind their culture and religion. Yes, an adult. Probably not of a great house. I doubt we could get them as our concubines anyway. Yeah, let's just find some positive fertility traits, lustful or whatever. There's one. Actually, maybe it's better to look for people with good uh, congenital traits because we're. Probably more after quality than quantity. Quantity will kind of take care of itself. Fertile. Oh, I had no idea that was even a trait. Um, it's 39 though. Quick, but too old. Strong 20 year old and lustful. Okay, well you're pretty much perfect. We can't take you as concubine. I think we have to talk to your liege. You mean Ingfrid. No, no, we can't take her as concubine. Thirty-seven year old genius. voice. Yeah, we'll take you as a concubine, okay. Well, that'll do for now. We'll, we'll have a look out for any uh, eligible ladies among prisoners that we capture later on. Uh, this is my bastard son, my strong bastard. Hmm. Are we, are we educating too many people? Can we educate him ourselves? We can, okay. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, Jarl of Scabs. Uh, okay, well. Revolts among the vassals. What is this independent realm down here? Uh, Glowmatch. 
as it might well be pronounced. Okay, I'll find the white stag. Uh, is this... Um, no, Great Moravia is over here. Having a bit of a problem. Hmm. Interesting. I'm such a good hunter that I do not always need my retinue. Well, I think I do, because this is a pretty bad event, but let's... Oh, great. Did not get wounded. While chasing an agile deer, my horse stumbled and broke his leg. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll end his suffering myself. White heart has been seen. I'll send out my son, my best hunter. Sure. Large merchant caravan from distant lands has arrived at the gates of your stronghold while I'm out hunting, apparently. Their leader, a jovial man of massive girth, pleads with you in a strange accent to grant them shelter from the elements for the night. Sure. He's just going to give us the uh, Hindu courtier, I guess. The fat merchant sits by the fire and regales you and the rest of the court with stories of his travels. Yes, tell us more. Dawn breaks and we prepare to move off, and he wants to give us a eunuch. A steward named Sakura appears. Yep, I am proud of my hunting abilities. Let's check out our new eunuch. Absolutely nothing special, though. He is, for some reason, a uh, Norse Hindu eunuch. So that's nice. And now that our hunt is over, I'm going to send my retinue up here and get ready to declare some wars. Oh, but before that, and oh, not plot, we're looking for a great blot. Yes, I can hardly wait. It's nice that we still get to do this, even though our religion is nicely reformed now. Linda, we offer you this sacrifice. Yep. A Christian. So he died in our dungeons. Probably out of despair from all her fellow prisoners being sacrificed to our pagan gods. Yep, let the celebrations begin. Everyone likes me. Hooray. Ah, oh, you, Thorbjorn. What a jerk. Conversing with another guest when loud screams of passion interrupt. Ivar, good god. By tear. Okay, Mar majority of the population of Horzaland has been converted, excellent. Heard any good rumors lately? Asks one of your courtiers while you two engage in idle conversation one day. I've heard others say the same. Makes no sense, but okay. I ate a muddied crab the other day. I do not spread rumors, I create them. Um, I can dislike this Jarl. Um, sure, we'll talk about the crab. Yeah, more, more conversions, excellent. Was that the one that I was working on with my thing? No, okay. Was, uh, we're spreading our religion pretty well down here. Actually, uh, maybe the feast is over and everything's good. These, these counties in uh, my own domain are still Old Norse. I should probably focus on converting them before worrying about the other provinces down there. Okay, well... We can't revoke more titles from him, I assume. Well, we could. I mean, it's probably a good time to do it since we're old and have a long reign bonus with everyone. For now, you can rot. Check out my vassals. Actually, we'll look at the the more powerful ones. Uh, they already don't especially like me. 
should probably think about giving away these kingdom titles because, you know, every single Jarl is gonna... How does this count my second most powerful vassal? Oh, he's probably something to do with this revolt. Uh, yeah, everyone pretty much likes me. Wow, he doesn't. Oh yeah, he's the guy that's imprisoned. <laughs> of course, that makes sense. He's envious and desires my kingdom. Yeah, I probably will give away um, Norway and Sweden. I don't really mind having powerful king vassals. And having two of them, especially they kind of balance each other right, like they both have to simultaneously dislike you for it to be a big problem. Uh, maybe we won't do that just yet though, we'll wait until, until we die probably and maybe use it to smooth out the succession a bit. Um, other than that though, I think maybe revoking a couple of counties if it looks like we're about to die soon might be a good idea. Then we immediately lose the tyranny because we become a new character. Ooh, settlers reach Greenland. The new land discovered to the west of Iceland does indeed seem to be a new island. Under the leadership of Eric the Red, who was banished from Iceland for murder, Settlers have claimed land on the island's southwestern shores. To attract more colonists, Eric has cleverly decided on the promising name of Greenland for this untamed virgin land. The new colony has already started exporting walrus ivory, seal blubber, and furs to Iceland and beyond. Apart from the brave Norse settlers, Greenland so far seems to be devoid of human life. Greenland, is it? Cool. Uh, the crickets are chirping and singing quite loudly tonight, more so than usual. This is a rather odd occurrence. Maybe it's a bad omen, like another comet, or perhaps it is a good one. Their music is beautiful, this is a good thing. I can't go to sleep, this is terrible. No, it's a good thing. Okay, well let's go ahead and declare a holy war for Finland. The rest of these all will just give us a single county. Uh, we can't do this. Of course, we still have the Holy War cooldown. For how much longer? I thought it was almost up. It is almost up. It's up this year. Okay. Um, maybe we will... No, I won't wait. I won't do a county conquest yet. Are you independent? You're not independent, but... Well, actually, how much land do you have? Basically none, okay. Shouldn't have any problems declaring war on him then. Which we'll do just to get uh, Oland over here. Religious conquest, that does not seem necessary. Did you claim on Oland or conquest of Oland? Oh, actually no, we have a truce, so we can't do that either. Oh, these frustrated war ambitions. All right, well, I guess we'll just wait until our holy war cooldown is over. We'll go to speed four, so that that happens a little more quickly. Uh, low clergy obligations, okay. One children lack a garden. Lack a garden. Uh, like a guardian, okay, my, my granddaughter. Uh, we can use her for opinion. Perhaps with this guy who was kind of unhappy with us. Oh, we have a daughter. No special traits. That's nice. My son is a charitable little rascal who just gave his newest toy to the smith's son. Oh, that's okay. You can be charitable. A oh, few little obligations, okay. My daughter is of age. And... My son is of age. Okay. Uh, 
and Jarl Bo over here has died a natural death. Okay. Guess we need to get this guy another educator. Sure. You will do just fine. And that will do for this episode. So thanks for watching and join me next time where hopefully we will be able to actually gain some more land.